Jennifer Ann Neal. Number 22, Fran Goodwin. Number 34, Alicia Miller. Number 44, Lindsey Smith. And now, the starting lineup for your Long Tree High School Recap. And John, a fast five junior, number 23, Taylor Goodwin. And four, the fast seven junior, number 24, Melanie. She might have to have that corrected at the end of the season, according to some of her family members. And Miranda Wallace also missed some days. I guess uh, everybody's hit with a little sickness, huh, Jim Thompson? Yeah, well, that's true. Of course, these, these girls will, will play hard anyway, but they can't help when they go out there. But th this is the time of year when it seems like those things happen. It's close to tournament time. seems like it always waits till the end, but, yeah. but they'll be fine. And that happened to uh, Allison Clark, the All-Stater from Shovelville last night. She had to leave the game and go to the hospital. She uh, tried to play and couldn't do it. So I wonder why. I've been showing up in the focus point. I wonder what had happened to her. Yeah, she did play one quarter and had to go to the hospital. Here's the tip for Lawrence County. The Lady Cats won by 14 the last time. Katie Smith drives and a foul. Boy, she was heading right down the middle, wasn't she? Yeah, they come out in a man-to-man -man and immediately what we do is spread the floor first and see if Katie's girl can handle her and she can and how do we go from there? Simpson picks up the first foul and Katie Smith at the free throw line. She's really been good at the free throw line this year. This game just underway and the free throw is good. I think he's got a beautiful stroke. She's the one you like for all your kids to watch and see what she does. Second one, good. Lawrence County breaks out on top by a score of two nothing, and here comes Dana Simpson. Simpson got a man to man today. Yeah, Simpson got a 15, as Jim said, and we played up there December 20th. Simpson can shoot outside or play inside. Here's a steal by Katie Smith, and Katie lost it. Oh, she intended to play with the pass great, got it, and then just she turned to go down the floor and let it get away from her. Just got out of bounds. But that's good quick. You bet. And here comes uh, Dana Simpson to put the ball in play for Brentwood Academy. Boy, some great athletes, as Jim said. Here's a gunner from the side by Goodwin. No good. And the rebound's taken by Brentwood Academy. The Lady Cats really want this win badly. They want number 18 today because they got some tough games coming up. Coffee County will be in here, and Shelbyville's got to come in here. Shelbyville will be in here next Friday. There's a Brentwood Academy going to drive, uh, put a shot up. Good by Gibson and Simpson. Well, she's quick. She took that in the baseline and got a nice couple in five and used the body to hold them off. So she's going to be a good player to watch. Yeah, she's a fine player, good rebounder as well as scorer. Kayla Goodwin did a super job on her back up at Brentwood. Here's the Lady Cats in a game tied. A pass inside goes to Brandy Bean and a foul. Well, that was a good call, though. Right in the center of the lane, girls over trying to reach over her back. And even if you don't make contact, you don't get that call most of the time. You know, uh, Jim, uh, that girl's almost as tall as Brandy, or maybe as tall. I believe she's a little taller. I'd say she's <laughs> close to six foot. Brandy shot no good. Rebound out of there to Dana Simpson. The all-mid-stater comes dribbling down across the timeline. We're tied at two. This game just underway. The elementary tournament started over here at 9.30 this morning. And now the high school, Lawrence County High and Brentwood Academy. Dana Simpson looks for Miller. Miller's a good player. Miller working. Miller back to Simpson. Simpson for the basketball. Fran Goodwin, number 22, at the top of the circle. She got eight points the last time. Now she's going to drive down the middle, bank it, no good. 
as they crash the board, a whistle and a foul. And I believe this one is going on Brentwood's Lindsey Smith. Grace Husband will check into the game right here in Orange County and Brentwood tied. Yeah, I thought that was her second, second foul. I'm not sure who they got. I thought it was 44, but I'm not, I'm not sure. We'll check in a minute. We'll yeah, we'll check that. No. Shot no facts with the three. Yeah, she's been good, but she missed this one. And on the rebound, we got a jump ball. So, Billwood Academy will have a chance to go out on top here. The Lady Cats in full court press now. Let's see if Brentwood can handle it. Dana Simpson couldn't do it. Five seconds, we're picking up tight men, denying the ball everywhere. We had a girl breaking down the floor, but she didn't get down quick enough and get open from the get it in. So, up five seconds, good, good defense. You bet, and Kayla Goodwin will put the ball in play. She looks for Saxon. She looks inside, gives it off to Katie. Katie Smith at the top of the circle. Katie goes inside to Hartsfield. A turnaround jumper. Good. Nice shot. Turned into it looking for the foul, but still was able to finish the shot. That, that's an excellent play. Okay, Brentwood Academy going to try to work through full court pressure as the Eagle X. Lost to Katie Smith. Got the steal right here. But Brentwood gets it right back. Dana Simpson, her team trailing four to two. Five minutes left in the first quarter. Brentwood Academy, pretty good team. They've lost about five games, and here's a foul on Kayla Goodwin. Well, trying to keep Simpson from going to the baseline. Just got her, got her leg out into her. That's going to be quite a job uh, guarding Simpson, isn't it? Well, that will. She'll so probably she can go both ways. When they can do that, she can't overplay them. You've got to go head up. But I think she'll figure it out here in a minute. Okay, Brentwood Academy getting the ball back in play. Fran Goodwin. Goodwin works it in the corner. Simpson's everywhere. Dana Simpson for Brentwood Academy. Shuffles it back off on the side. Fran Goodwin for three. No good. Brandy Bean got the rebound. Bean gives it to Katie Smith, and the Lady Cats will run. Here's Katie. Had it slap loose. Now a scramble for the ball and a jump, and Lawrence County will have the possession arrow. Well, that was good defense there. She started going through, and the girl backed off her man, and Katie tried to split them and almost lost it there. Lizzie Ermey will come in for a... Brentwood Academy. And here's Brandy Bean. A shot up good by Bean and a foul. Boy, that's a good move, wasn't it? Great inbounds play. She came out from the, from the far wing and, and swept across. Yeah. Brandy Bean. Brandy Bean got the basket. WDXEFM 95.9. Looks like uh, Brandy Bean hit the uh, bucket right there. The score is 6-2. to two. Lawrence Ladies County one. is leading. With the basket just scored, Lawrence County High School Lady Cat Junior Center Brandy Bean just scored her 1,000th career point. Brandy Bean is being honored here at Lawrence County High School, the Ralph Benson Memorial Gym. At this time, Lady Cat head coach Willie Joyner will present the game ball to Brandy. Congratulations from FDHS to Brandy Bean. Quite a milestone, a standing ovation here as Brandy Bean has just scored her 1,000th point and Brandy is getting the game ball right here. A trim and a, a nice bouquet. Boy, that's great in the gym. Uh, so you can tell it kind of by surprise. She's a little embarrassed. We'll be able to see what she does and she'll shoot this, this free throw right after, right after all this. But she, she's a sharp little girl. She'll, uh, she'll handle it well. I'm glad to see us recognize her like that. Yeah, besides such a great asset to our basketball team, she's a scholar student on the honor roll. She's a very good employee for Frisbee's apothecary in her spare time. Bean's free throw. Good! Uh, that's, that's producing under pressure right there. She was also a golfer at the State Tournament this year in golf. First year she ever played, played uh, serious, serious golf and, and even made that. She's just a good athlete. You better believe it, Brandy Bean. She grew up in uh, Winchester but moved over here, thank goodness, when she's about in the eighth grade or a freshman, and uh, boy, what a great player, Miss Brandy Bean. I'm happy to see her honored. 
Wilson. Wilson about pass right now. Great steal by Kobe Smith. Lawrence County got the steal on the full court press. Here's Mel Saxon, a layup. Great assist by Smith. Great assist. Looking down the floor right over the top, and, and, and Mel took it to the basket, then just grabbed it and stand there. She went all with it. Good job. Nine to two. This time, Brentwood Academy got it through the full court pressure. And here's Brentwood Academy going to work as Lizzie Ermey has come into the ball game, number 30. Ermey gives back to Simpson. Simpson starts to drive as she'll have to kick it back out now to Ermey. They look inside. A whistle and a foul as Grace's husband was trying to get the ball. Yeah, Toby dropped back in to help out, and the girl spun into her, and she tried to reach in and grab him, got her by the arm. So Toby's playing aggressive defense today. That's what she's got to do that. You better believe it. And, and Greenwood Academy will have the ball. Dana Simpson puts it in play, and then comes in to Ermey. A three-pointer up there. It's good. Kim Couch got the three-pointer. Out scores, it's nine to five. The lady catch, here's Katie Smith. Her shot no good, Katie got the rebound, a whistle and a foul, but Katie may have gone over the back. Uh, it was a late call for that call. I, I thought he'd call it short. He had possession of the ball and gone back up with it before he called it on the back. Very late, wasn't it? Here comes Miranda Wallace into the ball game. Katie Smith will sit down. 3.37 left here in the uh, First period, nine to five. <clears throat> the Lady Cats have led all the way. Lizzie Ermey trying to break the pressure defense and can't do it. Uh, you can tell how quickly she's got them through. Every time, every time they pull up with the dribble, we're not coming after them. We're dropping back and covering everybody. And they got better throw it to us now. They make wild passes trying to beat the 10 seconds. Okay, Kayla Goodwin for Lawrence County. Kayla got a screen from Brandy Bean. Now she tried to feed Brandy, and it's intercepted by Brentwood Academy. Brentwood will bring it down. <clears throat> Dana Simpson got a screen, can't use it. Now she'll gun a three. Simpson shot no good. Knocked out of bounds, touch last by the Lady Cats. Yeah, you can tell that Brentwood, Brentwood offense is set up to, to, to highlight Simpson, and she's coming off double screens and all over the place, but, but Taylor's doing a good job staying with her. Okay, Simpson puts the ball in play. Lizzie Ermey, Ermey drives to the top of the circle. Gives back to Ramsey. Ramsey hadn't done too much. Here's Simpson. Simpson working to Alicia Miller. Miller back to Ermey. Ermey's double teamed in the corner. Simpson is gonna jump right now over Goodwin. This one's good, a two-pointer. Good handoff on it, handoff to Simpson, girl set the screen on Cola. I have lost the handoff, gave her the open shot. Nine to seven, it is the Lady Cats. Boy, Simpson works hard for her shots, don't she? Well, she, she earns what she gets, but she also throws the things are set up for her. Yeah, they are. Here's Hartsfield. Hartsfield double teamed and fouled. I think it's on Simpson, let's see. Yeah, it'll, no, excuse me, this foul is going on Alicia Miller. Miller's first. That is the fifth team foul on Brentwood Academy. Fran Goodwin comes back in. Lawrence County to play it. Saxon open in the corner for three. It's no good. Rebound Simpson. Dana Simpson got it. Brentwood running. Fran Goodwin in the corner. Back to Simpson. Nine to seven. Lawrence County by two. Simpson got in for the layup and missed it. But uh, the rebound out of there to Brentwood Academy. And a foul on Kayla Goodwin. A lot of contact going on everywhere. People hitting the floor and getting up, and then they call it a reach-in foul. I guess they just <laughs> felt like they had to slow it down for a second. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that, that happens. And uh, Brentwood Academy will put the ball in play, and Lizzie Ermey will throw it in. Ermey. Simpson. Got it in there to Simpson. Wide open, layup, good, we're tied. Uh, when you're in a man off the inbounds play, you know, and, and they're screaming, especially somebody who quick as Simpson is, and it, it, it's hard to stay with them. Oh, well, she broke open right at the perfect time. Yeah, and a good pass. So we're tied at nine. Lawrence County High and Greenwood Academy. Here's uh, Kayla Goodwin looking inside, gives to Saxon. Saxon back to Hartsfield. Wendy kicks it back out right here to Miranda Wallace. Here's uh, 
a three up there, no good by Mel Saxon. Rebound out to Brentwood Academy. They're doing a good job on the defensive board. Yeah, they drop back now to two, three zone, make them shoot my side. We haven't hit one yet, but that puts me in real good rebound position to make sure they find somebody to block off. Yeah. I tell you what, uh, the Lady Cats have some good shooters. Here's uh, Brentwood Academy working, Dana Simpson. One minute to go in the first quarter. Simpson gonna start down the middle, have the ball slapped loose by Brandy Bean, but Brentwood Academy will keep it. Kim Couch gives to Fran Goodwin. Fran Goodwin for the basketball. Well, they're running almost like the old North Carolina four corners with, with four forward back in the old days. Highlight and Simpson. Good block by Brandy Bain on Simpson. Oh, oh, boy, a great defensive play by Brandy. Here's a pass to Brandy. She missed the layup. Put back up by Wallace. No good. Brandy put it up good and a foul. That's what you call waiting for the right time to make it. Make it and get the foul of both. We, uh -huh. we missed two there. We should have made it, but we, we got it anyway and got the foul. Okay. That's the second foul on Dana Simpson. And Brandy Bean goes to the free throw line. Brandy's free throw, whoa. Only 26 seconds left in the half. They may try to spread it and poke with one shot if they can ever get it down the floor against the post. Oh, touch foul there, foul against Kola. Yeah, here's a foul on Kayla Goodwin. Is that her third? Yes, that's what I was saying. They've taken her out Simpson because, of, because she had two fouls and put Saxon on, on Simpson, but then she picked up the foul just trying to go after the ball. Trish Rowling will come in. Well, Trish has had some good games this year. 12 to 9, Lawrence County leading Brentwood Academy. Brentwood Academy working, Fran Woodwin. Gives to Simpson. Simpson shot no good. Took back up by Brentwood Academy. And here's a rebound by Brandy Bean. As the buzzer sounds, the first quarter score is Lawrence County 12, Brentwood 9. Back in one minute. Hi, this is John Robinson, athletic trainer with Columbia Crockett. Okay, the first quarter score, 12 to 9, Lawrence County. Uh, how, the, how was it up there, Jim, the first quarter score? Uh, first quarter score, Brentwood was up up there, 11 to 6. So we're, we're in better shape. You know, we're a few <laughs> yeah. better off than them, but you know, yeah. we're playing hard. It looks good right now. Okay, here's a Jennifer Neal in the ball game for Brentwood Academy. And they also get Lindsey Smith back in there. Lindsey Smith, a six-footer, comes back in to Neal. Neal's got her right knee heavily bandaged, but Dana Simpson, that's the big story for Brentwood. Lawrence County by three. Simpson gives to Neal. Neal pushes a little with the elbow for Miranda Wallace. Oh, oh, we're, we're playing good defense. They're having to work like everything to get, to get a shot. Here's Simpson. Yeah, she got in for the layup. Forced it, put back up, no good. Rebound, Wendy Hartsfield. The Lady Cats may have a fast break. Here goes Hartsfield for the layup. Good! Great, great job, great job. Had, had Miranda out in front of her. If you're better off not even make that pass. If you that much open, just take it in, lay it in. Okay, it's 14 to nine. Lawrence County leading as Dana Simpson works the ball down to Fran Goodwin. Goodwin for three. It's bouncing around, no good. Brandy Bean rebounds to Trish Rowley. This yeah. time the Lady Cats will slow down. Right, Trish slowly down, she kicked the mail. Mel's on the point now, there's the three. It's no good, rebound, knocked out of bounds, touch last by Brandy Bean. Believe we've got a foul call going on. I don't know if it's on, I guess it's on Brandy. Brandy Bean trying to rebound, picks up the foul, her first. Girl stepped in at the last second, there was some contact there, but she wasn't really over her back, it was both of them going for the ball. A lot of times they let that go, but not that. That's the first foul on, on Brandy. I thought he said two. Uh, I don't two. And the one and one is just kicked in, that was the seventh foul. Neil, Jennifer Neal will go to the line. I don't believe Jennifer played the last time before Christmas. Her free throw no good. Mel Saxon rebounds. Saxon's going to rush it across the 10-second line and get to Brandy Bean. Brandy's open outside. She'll jump about an eight-footer. No good. Trish Rowling tries to rebound, but Brentwood Academy. Neal comes out with it. Here's Neal to Dana Simpson. 14 to 9, the Lady Cats by 5. 
Dana Simpson got free, didn't shoot. Back to good one. Good one, shot no good, partially blocked, wasn't it? Well, it's just rolling, jumped into the face right the last second, got a hand on it. Here's Miranda Wallace, gonna drive, stop, jump, no good. Wallace got the rebound. Bounce pass out to Saxon, into Hartsfield, gonna jump over the six-footer and be fouled right there. But the girl had good position, but when you hit that shot on earlier, and I guess you remember it, because you brought the hand down on the ball, and that, that's gonna get you a foul every time. You bet, it sure will, and Kristen Ramsey comes back in, and, and uh, Katie Smith will check back in for the Lady Cats. And the fouls on Lindsey Smith going to send Wendy Hartsfield to the free throw line. Wendy's got four points. Boy, Wendy forcing herself to play last night and try to help her team after uh, having a bout with a virus most of the week. Uh, plus, it's a warm day today, even in this gym, and uh, that's got to affect her a little bit. Free throw, no good, and the rebound out of there to Lindsey Smith, Brentwood Academy. Dana Simpson. Simpson works to Ermey, back in. Lizzie Ermey to Simpson. Simpson kicks it back to Ramsey. Ramsey to Simpson. Mel Saxon's guarding Ramsey at the, uh, Simpson at the moment. Right, right. Here's a pass inside. Touch last by Brentwood Academy. Good defense, wasn't it? Right, I, I, I thought when he put her hands on it before it went out, but she pulled him back, and I wasn't sure of the call, but he was right in front of him, so I'm sure that the call was correct. These game officials are uh, Jim Henson, uh, David Laws, and a guy, I can't think of his name right now. Here's Brandy, right now. <laughs> Here's Brandy Bean giving to Wallace. Wallace shot no good, or shot blocked, and maybe a foul. Yeah, it's going on Lindsey Smith of Brentwood Academy, and she's gonna have to slow down. Well, but, um, two, I think. Right, right. And again, the only, I don't criticize the physical, there's been some slow whistles in the last couple of games I've, uh, high school games I've attended. And that, that always throws you off because action happens and there's a pause there and then the whistle blows and you don't really know what's going on. Some people tell me that uh, partly because we have three officials and you know, they, they've been used to working two all of their careers could have something to do with it. Well, they, they don't want to be out of position when they make a call. So with three officials, I think they wait and see if somebody else has got a better look, and then, then they call it. There's that hesitation. There's a little commentary going on between the Brentwood Academy coach and one of the officials now. Okay, the first free throw good. The second one, somebody stepped in the lane. So here's Brentwood Academy and traveling. Boy, Miranda Wallace put the defense on them, didn't she? Right, brought across half court, got the double team, and she spun around. She didn't know Miranda was there, and she got a hand on the ball, and the girl just took a step trying to get control of it again. Melody Saxon with five minutes left in the first half. Coach Steve Kitchens will be here tonight uh, at halftime talking about that big win over Coffee County. There's a shot by Brandy Bean, no good, but Greenwood Academy knocks it out of Browns. That's, uh, that's uh, Lindsey Smith. Got a big tattoo on her arm, Jim. Yeah, I, I noticed that. I was trying to wait until she got close enough. I can't really. There's a couple of them got them. I don't know if they're permanent or temporary or what they are, but there's several of them got them. Yeah, Lindsey Smith's going to sit down and take a breather. Miranda Wallace found Hartsfield. Wendy Hartsfield back to Katie Smith. 15 to 9. To Saxon, her shot, good. That's good. One good. Throw. She, she is, she's got such confidence, and you know, she doesn't let things bother. And that thought it was a beautiful stroke there. And now we're back on the post trying to double team. But I tell you, she's a good three point shooter. Melody Saxon. Here's a steal by Miranda Wallace. Good job. Ninth grade reserve for the Lady Cats. And a whistle and a foul in there on Brentwood Academy as they were trying to feed Melody Saxon. I believe Brentwood Academy is going to take time here. Okay, the Lady Cats lead 18 to 9. Back in one minute. On the court, in the classroom, or in the workplace, there's no substitute for teamwork. Excel of Tennessee supports the athletes and scholars who represent our fresh cleaners. 301 North Locust, your certified master dry cleaner. Thanks, L. Rod. Wendy Hartsfield goes to the free throw line right here. Wendy missed her last two. 
Yes, a good opportunity. We're on a run right here. It's a good opportunity to get out maybe by, by 15 or 20 or, or whatever. 10-point lead right now. 7-0 in this quarter, I believe. So let's hope we can just keep running on with it. Okay. Hodgeville will have another free throw. That first one's good. Second one good. Hodgeville has six points. As Ermey is going to be double teamed in backcourt, but Brentwood Academy got it to Dana Simpson, and Simpson threw it away. The, the four-court press is bothering Brentwood, isn't it? Right. We're doing a wonderful job of trapping and not reaching in and picking up fouls, and they're, they're trying to throw the ball to people running down the floor, and they're just not connecting on them. Okay. Here's a Hartsfield to Saxon for three. It's good! She's got her stroke. That's two in a row. When she hits one, you can just see the confidence. Yeah, that's two out of five on the threes. And here comes Brentwood Academy. Ramsey, a junior for Brentwood, gives to Ermey for three. It's good. Well, there's a freshman mistake. Brand Brenda lost her man, couldn't, couldn't pick her out of the crowd, and left her open for three. That's, that's just, you know, well, those things happen every now and then. Okay, it's uh, 23 to 12, and the Lady Cats turn it over as Brentwood Academy wants to get another player up, and Goodwin will come back in. Goodwin will replace Kristen Ramsey. Also coming back will be Alicia Miller for Brentwood Academy. Brentwood's really substituted quite a bit. Looks like they might be pretty deep, huh? Yeah, they, they are, and, and you can't tell a lot of difference in all of them, with the, with the exception of uh, Simpson and uh, the big girl inside. Yeah. The rest of them are pretty even. You bet, and here's Simpson. Almost stolen. Katie Smith got the steal, and here goes Katie. Oh, they foul her from behind. So easy, Katie. Easy. And a pretty rough foul. Oh, I don't blame Katie being upset. The girl absolutely just jumped on her back and shoved her down. And she's okay now. That's a hard foul. That ought to be an intentional foul. Yeah. Uh, Katie Smith goes to the free throw line right here. Lizzie Ermey picks up the foul. Brentwood Academy coach is still carrying on commentary over here. I don't know what he could be upset about on that call. See what uh, the official score is going to... Trying to find out who the foul was on, I guess. Yeah, I think the... Uh, Number 30, wasn't it? I'm not sure. There was a... Yeah, was, yeah right. well, 22. Number yeah. 22, good one, right? Good one, her second. Katie's free throw, good. Chris Rowling going to come back in. Katie Smith got the free throw. We're in the second quarter, 23 to 12. Brandy Bean will get a rest. Oh, Brandy's worked hard. Brandy always works hard. You yeah. Won't, you won't find a game where she doesn't, she doesn't get everything. Second free throw, no good by Brentwood Academy. Uh, no good by Katie. And Brentwood gets the rebound. 23 to 12. Lawrence County with a lead. Here's Fran Goodwin. Goodwin gives to Simpson. Simpson back to Fran. She's open in the corner. She got it. A three-pointer. Brentwood Academy runs a good motion offense, a lot of picks. And, you know, if they're patient, people are going to eventually pop open. You really got to work. And here's Lawrence County. This time, Hartsfield for three. It's no good. And the rebound out of there to Brentwood Academy. Simpson bringing it down, 24-15. Lawrence County with the lead. Here's a Fran Goodwin driving, her shot blocked. Katie Smith blocked the shot. Yeah, Katie got beat off the dribble and followed her in, just came over the top and, and got a piece of it. You'll see that call a lot, even if there's no contact. But that was a clean block, but I was afraid it'd be a call. Okay, Brentwood Academy, Lizzie Ermey dribbling at the top of the circle, gives to Simpson. Trish Rowling switches off and fouls Simpson. But Trish got over there in plenty of time. If she had to do it over again, I'm sure she would have set her feet and took the charge up there. She she opened up right when the girl got there, opened her feet up, and any time you do that, yeah, it's going to be an offense, I mean, a defensive foul. So Dana Simpson goes to the free throw line. She's got only six points. Well, it seems like she's got them all. I mean, she's just, she's just so active. Free throw, good, huh? free throw is good by Simpson. Well, like her, penetrates and handles the ball as well. Every time she penetrates it, people have to drop in on her. It opens people out on the wings. Second shot is good. Free throw good by Simpson. 
Simpson's got eight with two and a half minutes left in the half. Coach Steve Kitchens will be here at halftime talking about the big win last night at Coffee County. It was a big district win. A the turnover there, a little confusion between uh, Trish and, and Wendy as who was going to get the ball, and they, they, they both ended up knocking it away. Brentwood Academy picked it up. Okay, Brentwood Academy whittling away at that lead. 24 to 17, Fran Goodwin open in the other corner. An air ball, no good, knocked out of bounds by the Lady Cats. Yeah, she had a good look at it then, but then Katie was coming at her, and she, she rushed it a little bit, didn't, just barely, barely got iron that time. She, she got a good looking shot. Here's Fran Goodwin, open for a minute. Now Katie guards her as Brentwood Academy goes to work. Kim Couch has got one three, but she hadn't shot very many times tonight. Here's Simpson for three. This one is no good, and Trish Rowling got the rebound, and somebody's on her back. Trish has really gotten competitive the last, the last three games I've seen. Uh, she got good rebound position, then went up and got it, pulled it down, you know, didn't let, didn't let the other girl have a chance and drew the foul. Okay, coming back into the game for Brentwood Academy right here, Miller, and Trish Rowling goes to the free throw line. Rowling is a senior, she's 5'8", good rebounder. Trish, Trish is one of my golfers also. I got uh, three of them out there, uh, Wendy, Bandy, and Trish. And I, they're, they're good kids, they're, but they're, they're also good basketball players too. First free throw good by Trish Rowling. You see uh, Cherry Beavis from Wayne County play golf? Yeah, she, yeah she's, she's a good player. In fact, I see one Brentwood Academy girl, girl out there, that uh, Neil girl plays on their golf team. So I've seen several of these kids. The second free throw good by Chris Rowling. She hit both of them. And here comes Brentwood Academy. Kim Couch. Couch back to Lizzie Ermey. Ermey to a friend. Good one, no good. Wendy Hartsfield fights for the rebound and can't hold it. Boy, Wendy really playing hard, trying to get that basketball. And there's just a lot of hustle going on, a lot of action. There are some fouls taking place on both sides that could be called, but, but uh, you know, kids are hustling, and, and, you know, you don't want to get involved too much. Let's well, play. Yeah, Lawrence County, a nine-point lead. The pass is going to come in right here. Good one. Here's a the lady catch, working hard on defense, but Ramsey for three, good. They've got back into it, cut it to six now with the three, so now we got to get something going on offensively. And i uh, got a violation down here. Let's see, or is it something on the... I believe Mel's got, Melody Saxon's got a little scrape on her arm. It had a Band-Aid on. It came off, so they're, they're asking her to clean it up, I guess. Okay, uh, and Chris Rowling will throw the ball in. It's backside court, Lawrence County's ball. Katie Smith coming out with foul, a little bit of foul trouble right for the half. I imagine he's trying to keep up and picking up another one for the, for the half. Yeah, up. Patty Marcus takes her place. And here's uh, Wendy Hartsfield to Marcus. Patty gives to Saxon for three. This one is no good, but Hartsfield got the rebound. Hartsfield right, to Miranda Wallace. Good. Great right, feed. Right. She looked inside, just, just slipped it around her. Wide open layup for Miranda. Good feed by Wendy Hartsfield. 28 20, Lawrence County with the lead. Here's Goodwin, they go inside, back out to Irma, and a shot by Brentwood Academy is good, Kim Couch. That was super, just super ball movement. Every time we ran for them, they passed on, on around the perimeter, and, and, and we didn't get rotated back on the weak side, and they took it inside and, and got an easy one. It looked like we are going to play for one shot with 15 seconds. Good crowd, boys. Better than I expected for a 4 o'clock game. And it should be a dandy boys game also. Here's Wendy Hartsfield inside. She posted up, missed the shot. Brentwood got the rebound with one second. And there's the buzzer. A great defensive play right at the end as Patty Marcus knocked that ball out of her hand. Thanks, Jackie. Let's talk about it just a little bit. You got after an early lead. In Jim Thompson? Uh, I don't really, I don't really. Unless we get tired and have to come out of our man-to-man, -man, but they're in the two, three zones just like they were. I expect us to play pretty much like, like we did the first half. Okay. The Lady Cats with a basketball, a shot up by Katie Smith, no good. Katie tries to save it, but Brentwood Academy gets it on a fast break. Here's Fran Goodwin running, way up, no good. Rebound put back up by Irma, no good. And uh, Lawrence County will come out with it. Mel Saxon saved it to uh, Wendy Hartsfield. Boy, Brentwood Academy looks keyed up, playing tight defense here. 
Pass goes to Goodwin, into Brandy Bean. Her shot good. Great look into the lane. They're playing their, their, their two, three zone. They're keeping the back, their middleman back, and Brandy's stepping into the gap there in the lane. Yeah, good shot by Brandy. A eight-point lead as Brentwood Academy is going to gun outside three. Good. It's uh, Fran Goodwin. That is her third three-pointer. Yeah, she's, she's got a good stroke, and all they're doing is making us come inside the play of them and kicking them all out to the, out to the three. Okay, Katie Smith gives to Hartz to back to Saxon to Kayla Goodwin. Goodwin into Brandy. Bean shot good. That Same thing. Just swing into the cross popper. Just blow the foul out in the lane. And they're, they're not playing up that high. If they come up, we'll feed it inside the windy, I'm sure. Okay, it's 32-25. Uh, Lawrence County with the lead. But Brentwood Academy's got the ball. Here goes Simpson. Going to stop a 12-footer. Good by Simpson. So they're shooting the ball quick. Now we're in the winner's zone trap dropping back to man-to-man. -to -man. They're shooting the ball quick before we got get paired up. We'll have to get back down the floor and find our people a little bit quicker. 32-27, the Lady Cats lead. Lawrence County led 26 to uh, 37 uh, the last time we played up there, 37-26. But right here, it is 32-27, uh, Lawrence County by five. Good one for three, it's good. Good one. She's on the line, they only gave her two off of it. Still a good shot. She doesn't shoot that much, does she? No, she doesn't. And they, they want her to shoot more. They want her to be the one that, that makes the defense come out and play her. Katie Smith had a collision with somebody. She ran through a screen, I guess, didn't she? Yeah, a girl set a screen on her, and then the girl set a good screen. It was a hard collision, but if there had been a foul called, it would have been against Katie. It was a good, hard, clean screen, but it was a lot of contact. 34-27, Lawrence County leading in the third quarter. This will be Lawrence County's 18th win of the year. Well, we need this one. Here's a, a long shot, partially blocked by Katie Smith. Katie's playing great offense and defense. Here's Melody Saxon. Going to drive the baseline and put it up. No good. Saxon uh, got too far under. And Lawrence County saves the rebound. Out to Brandy Bean. Brandy drives. And good. That's a power move, wasn't it, Jim? Oh, yeah, she came off there hard going to the left side. But we're lucky we didn't get a three-second call there. It was a lot of, we were in there a long time with three people. This foul, I believe, on Kayla Goodwin. If that is, that's her fourth. Kayla Goodwin picks up her fourth. She'll have to sit down, and Miranda Wallace will come back in. Miranda's done well, but that makes somebody else come out and play the point. Either Katie or, or Mel make, makes them come out and have to play in a little different position. Okay, here's a good one, friend good one for Greenwood Academy. 36-27, Lawrence County's run back out right here by nine points. Dana Simpson getting the ball off to Miller. A shot up there by Irma, no good, but a long rebound comes back out and a foul. Somebody may have backed into her. I believe uh, the ball came over, she grabbed it, Wendy tried to reach in and knock it loose. I believe that was on Wendy Hartsfield. Hartsfield picks up the foul. Greenwood uh, Academy's not scoring at all inside. Everything they're getting from the perimeter. That's the first foul on Hartsfield and only the second on the team here in the half, the second half. So Brentwood Academy will go to work, trailing by nine. Simpson gives off to Alicia Miller, and she traveled. No, a lane violation. Right, number 32 is posted up. It's odd when they've got girls that know how to post up, and they get posted up, they don't give them the basketball. It's like they're not really looking for that. That's just something else they're doing. Maybe they don't have, maybe they've got the confidence in the perimeter people and not so much on the people inside. Well, they don't get many points inside, do they? No, they don't. Step off, you know, breakaway every now and then, but off the regular offense, they, they don't feed it inside much. Here's Brandy Bean giving off to Hartsfield. Hartsfield's triple team. They got it back to Saxon for three. It's short, no good. Wallace rebounds. First shot, no good, and Brandy Bean rebounds. Brandy put it up, in and out. Tough, no good. And a whistle and a foul in there. It's soon scoring on Brimwood Academy, I think. Right, right. Brandy, Brandy should have used the backboard there. She knows it. She tried to put it in from, from out on the, out on the side. It's a lot easier to use the board. Mm -hmm. Foul on Brentwood Academy. Yeah, it's on Grace's husband. <clears throat> husband picks up the foul, and Lawrence County will play. A chance to go up by 11, and the pass comes out to Katie Smith. Katie back to 
Bean, brand new six footer, rolling good. He did the same thing, didn't use the glass, but she got that to fall in for it. Okay, timeout on the floor. Lawrence County's lead 38 to the vehicle. Yes, sir, if you want to fix your car or truck right the first time, buy your parts at B&W Auto Parts because B&W specializes in stocking the highest quality parts available in the automotive industry. Find them at 813 North August in Lawrenceburg. B&W Auto Parts. Okay, we're back at the gym. Dana Simpson just went flying in for a shot, but uh, she was fouled before she got it up. And right here mel saxon picks up the foul that'll be her first and Brentwood academy will play in front court and the pass comes in to irma lizzie irma for Brentwood academy well they look for simpson every time and who can blame them oh, that, no you can't <laughs> sure you can't blame them for that there's a pass intended for simpson knocked out of bounds by melody saxon Fran Goodwin will come back in. Goodwin's one of those players for Brentwood Academy. She averages six or eight points, but she don't make the turnover. She don't hurt her team. Uh, and she's in a couple three. Steal by Miranda Wallace on the inbound. Got a breakaway. Wallace going to fly down for the layup. It's blocked and a foul on Brentwood Academy. This foul is on Brentwood Academy's Kim Couch, her first. You know, we haven't seen a... Uh, uh, their big player, Lindsey Smith, much after the first right. half, have we? Right. She got 3,000 in the first half and came out, but usually, you know, they come on back with them in the fourth quarter. She, she ain't been in much. Miranda Wallace. Her shot good. Miranda plays like, like the same as her personality, just quiet. Oh, yeah. She makes great. a lot of things happen. Free throw good. Now, now Jack Keywood and his cousin Jimbo said it her daddy was a real gunner. Said he liked to shoot every time at the youth center. <laughs> I can't say for sure. I James said. I... James said. Well, if I was at first, the Keywoods were second, and she. <laughs> uh, uh, we all like to put that thing up. <laughs> Here's Brentwood Academy. 40-27. A steal by Melody Saxon. Saxon's going to drive down her shot. Good. She's pretty heavily guarded, wasn't she? Yeah, she used her body well, turned into her. She was going to make the girl foul if she didn't make the shot. Good job by Mel Saxon. You bet. Uh, Brentwood Academy has to take a time. Most of the Lady Cats are uh, make A's, B's. Right, right. This is, the next three minutes will be big. We can really blow it out right here if we'll just keep the intensity for three minutes. Right okay, here. here's Fran Goodwin. Gunning, good. Uh, Brentwood Academy. They, they don't back off completely, but we're still up by 13, but, you know, we, we'd like to stretch it on out and look, get, get a little rest here, I imagine. That's uh, her first uh, two-point goal. She had three threes. Orange County working. Hartsfield back to Wallace. Miranda Wallace. Katie Smith. Katie to Saxon. Saxon feeds inside to Brandy Bean. Back to Katie. Boy, she threw it in heavy traffic, but the Lady Cats are lucky. They got it back. Wallace in there to Brandy. Brandy's going to drive and be fouled. She's fouled right there by Brentwood Academy. Grace Husband has picked up her second foul. I believe, yeah, I believe that was, that was Hartsfield. Yeah, it was trained out there. I believe that was Wendy was fouled. But yeah, it was. Not going to the line. I thought that would be a shooting foul. I guess it was on the floor. 2.15 left in the third quarter. Here's Hartsfield taking a pass in the corner. Gives to Brandy Bean. Open from the free throw line. Good. Beautiful soft shot. She's just got a nice shot. Plus, she had time. They're, they're leaving her open in the lane there, and she's, she's taking advantage of it. You know, that makes a big difference. Uh, that didn't occur with All-State Monica Dillon last night at Coffee County. Well, she, she's, a, she's big. <laughs> she takes up a lot of room, and she'll challenge you. She's yeah. a competitor. Here's a shot by Dana Simpson. Good, and... I think uh, that's only her second basket here after the half. Simpson's got a dozen. Had a beautiful running shot in the lane. Yeah, 44-31. Lawrence County hanging on to the 13-point lead with a minute and a half. Katie Smith gives to Saxon. Back to Katie. Katie's at the top of the circle to Miranda Wallace. Miranda uh -huh. tries to force it inside. Intercepted by Brentwood Academy. It's open, and our kids know what to look for, and they know it's open, but they, they're, they're not being patient a couple of times, waiting until that time when it really pops. It'll pop wide open if they'll be a little more patient. 
Okay, Brentwood Academy. Simpson's going to start down the baseline, kick it back to Fran Goodwin, who travels. Yeah, some of the trying to, trying to pump and fake and do all that stuff at the same time. She forgot and ran off, ran off a little bit on that one. Brandy Bean will set out the final 59 seconds of the third quarter. Brandy really had a good third quarter. She's got 18 points. Well, you know, trying to, of course, get her a little rest. We're, we're up by 13, but that's that's not safe nowadays, especially with three, well, this one shoots three-pointers. We're trying to get a little breather for the, for the fourth quarter. Katie Smith with the ball. Let's see if Coach Willie Joyner might play for one final shot in the third quarter. But what Academy's gone to man. They may have just done it to keep us from holding to the last shot at the end of the quarter, but they're in man-to-man -man right now. And uh, Melody Saxon with the ball back to Miranda Wallace, to Saxon. Down to 30 seconds. We may still be able to hold it for one, but they're, they are they are matching up and playing head up. Saxon with the basketball holding for the final shot, 20 seconds. Well, Brentwood Academy's backed off now. They're going to let us hold it. We'll probably go with eight to, eight to 10 seconds. We'll start into something. Okay. And the ball's knocked out of bounds by Brentwood. Well, good call by the official. They had over the Katie Reed's court and pulled her hand back. He was right there. He, he, uh, he was an excellent call. Katie Smith puts it in play to Wendy Hartsfield. Barnes County's got eight seconds now, and here goes Katie. Not a 10-foot jumper. It's good. Katie Smith has a buzzer sound. Good job by Katie. Quarter score is Lawrence be helping us out. Each of these professionals donate their time to help render excellent service to the athletes in Lawrence County. It's true when they say you don't have to leave the county to get quality medical care. For all your sports medicine and physical therapy needs, call us at Columbia Crockett Physical Therapy, 766-3279. Okay, play resumes in the fourth and final quarter. Brentwood Academy gonna shoot. The bucket's good and a foul. Brentwood's got a chance for a three-point play right here. Yeah, I believe that's a new girl in the game. I don't remember her, Kim Martin, uh, but she came in, banked going in, drew the foul from, from, the, from the foul line, got the lead to 13 right off the bat. Okay, and uh, so we'll see how many fouls that is on Katie. I believe that's three. I don't remember another one in the second half. She had two at halftime. Free throw is no good by Martin, and Trish Rowling rebounds. So Katie Smith will bring the basketball down now. The Lady Cats lead. 46-33. We're still a man-to-man. -man. We got Brandy still out. Got Trish in. Here's a screen. Katie starts in, and Brentwood Academy is going to take the ball away. Now we got a jump. Lawrence County outscored Brentwood Academy 18-11 in the third quarter. It was really a big quarter for the Lady Cats. They led 28-22 at half. Here's a pass into Brandy Bean to Saxon, open for three, but it's short, no good. And the rebound, Greenwood Academy. That's the right idea there, Mel threw it in and stepped to the corner wide open. She was just a little bit short on the shot, didn't follow through quite. Okay, here's Martin, Kim Martin, a junior for Greenwood Academy. Martin gives it back to Ermey. Ermey to Goodwin. Here's Simpson driving her shot, no good. And Trish Rowling had the rebound and somebody backed into her, I think. Alicia Martin. Yeah, Martin picks up the foul. Miller, excuse me, Alicia Miller's got her third. Right, Trish did a good job then going, going to the boards down there and just and drew the foul. We're, we're playing quick, we're playing, we're playing good. The Simpson kid beat us off a dribble then and, and Trish stepped over to help out and, and then went to the board and got the rebound. So you, you can't ask for more than that. Did you tell me Trish plays golf? Yeah, she's pretty good at her golf. Right? Well, uh, the Columbia State, here's, uh, here's Mel Saxon had the ball stolen away and here comes uh, Dana Simpson. Simpson's going to weave her way in and out. 46-33, Lawrence County with the lead. A steal, Miranda Wallace had a hand in that to Katie Smith. Katie Great goes off pass. to Brandy. Brandy shot good. Great look by Katie. She knows where everybody is. And she, she made the steal on the other end, knocked her out of Simpson's hand, took it down, no good, no good assist. Boy, I tell you, Katie Smith has so many assists. Like today, she's got only five points. 
but she must be responsible for about 20 or 25 more. <laughs> it seems like it there. Melody Saxon picked up a foul. Uh, Simpson beat her off the dribble and she tried to get back in front and reached in. Of course, this is an unselfish team and I think that's the only way they'd be successful. That's exactly right. They are very unselfish players. Because they don't have a strong bench and they work together. They played together several years. And, and they like each other. They like playing with each other. You can tell. You know, they don't mind giving the ball up and helping out. They know it's all it's all going to come back to them. One of the uh, top coaches in the state told me that's the only way they can be successful. Play as a team. Here's a shot blocked by Brentwood Academy after a steal. And Brandy Bean is going to get the ball. But Brentwood takes it right back in a shot by Brentwood Good. It's Fran Goodwin. Yeah, a lot of reaching and slapping by both sides that time. And, and Brandy got knocked out of her hands. And Goodwin put it back in. So that touches the 13 again. Okay, Katie Smith going to drive down. Have her shot blocked. Katie got the rebound. And she's fouled. You know, Katie's been beat up pretty bad. And, <laughs> yeah. Well, she's so active and she flies in, in, inside on a lot of shots and she doesn't take charge and she gets off on an angle, so she hits, uh, get, no. touches a lot of hips and knees and those kind of things. She ends up on her, on her back or on her face. Yeah. As I said, the crowd's still coming in and pretty good crowd here. Uh, Oh, no. This is a big crowd. It's been a busy day with the gym. It was an elementary tournament. It was a real good crowd then. It kind of emptied out, but now it's starting to fill back up again. Yeah. You know? Pretty day outside. I was afraid everybody would find something else, but it's getting toward dark, so maybe maybe everybody will start coming in here. It's, it's excellent basketball. The uh, free throw's no good, but Katie Smith will have another one. Both teams have committed five fouls, and there's 5.25 to go. This one by Katie Smith's good, and she's got a... Katie's got six points. Uh, we're, we're still in the full court press. You know, just a, you know, trapping. There's a turnover. Katie Smith makes a steal. Yeah, Katie's double team, but she found Wallace. Oh. Miranda's going to go in. Her shot too high. No good. Brandy Bean got position in the basket. I don't know how Katie found that gap to get that ball through there to Miranda. Great, great rebound in the basket by Brandy Bean. Boy, Katie Smith's a great passer. What a player. She threaded that one in there when there wasn't, there wasn't an in there, I didn't think, but it got through there somehow. There's a long shot by Brentwood Academy, a three, no good, and the rebound goes to Hartsfield, and she's bumped from behind by Fran Goodwin. Yeah, that was a, Goodwin's ready to run down the floor, and when he pulled up, she just kind of ran up her back. It wasn't, wasn't a hard foul, but it's a foul, because it, it could have caused Wendy to walk. If they hadn't blown the whistle, and she'd have walked. There'd been, there'd been some yelling going on. Oh, brother. Quite a few referees sitting in the stands. <laughs> I'm finding out more and more everybody's a referee. Uh, here's Wendy Hartsfield open under the basket. Good. Uh, well, man, they both took off on the wing to get Miranda and left Wendy wide open, but Katie found her. Okay, Brentwood Academy runs down. They get the basket as, as putting it up was Fran Goodwin. She's been quite active, 15 points. She's got more than Dana Simpson right now. Yeah, she looks good going to the basket. First half, she just spotted up all the time. Second half, she's gone to the basket quite a bit. She, she can take you to the basket. Good size girl, too. You better believe it. And there's Wendy again, wide open underneath. Hartsfield scores. They've been a substitution here somewhere, and somebody has lost their man because Wendy's wide open, and Katie's, Katie is fine here. Katie's a great passer. Here's Brentwood Academy now. Simpson fakes a three. She's going to start in. Give right back off to Fran Goodwin. We're down to 346 left in the game. Large County 55 to 37. The biggest lead for the Lady Cats. Here's Brentwood Academy going to shoot a three. That's in and out. No good. Hartsfield got the rebound. The Lady Cats may want to run. Here's Hartsfield. Going to be fouled. Maybe on Simpson, a reach-in foul. Yeah, I believe that's in the one and one now. So it was early in the drive, long before the shot, but I believe 21 starting here. I'm not sure if I can't, I don't know if they put that foul up already or not. Okay. Yeah, it'll be on the, no, 21. Right? Yeah, it could be you got an inexperienced person down there running that. Lord Elgin <laughs> Curly Thompson. What's this? His 42nd year. Oh, uh, great rebound, Miranda Wallace. Uh, lined up on the free throw up, the, up at the top and went back door on the girl. She never saw her. Just got the rebound, and laid it in. Great job by Miranda. I believe a foul on Katie. Went for the pass. The girl stepped up and she 
No, they're pretty good. Maybe count at least. Foul, foul number four on Katie. It's a 20-point game. Lawrence County winning. The Lady Cats beat them another time, 54 to 40. Katie will get a breather here, a well-deserved breather. Boy, she's had so many great assists. It's been a great game for Katie. Yeah, she's going to make good things happen. You know, she, she's just that kind of player. Brentwood Academy working here. Lizzie Ermer, Ermer gives to Simpson. Boy, Dana Simpson's shirt is ringing wet. She's played hard. Shot by Brentwood Academy, no good. Melody Saxon rebounds. Saxon's gonna get under there, put her layup, no good. It's too short, and a foul. Somebody, I think, bumped into Brandy Bean. Right, Mel's a little short on the shot from the baseline. Brandy got the rebound, and I didn't see who the foul was on. Got it in the back, and she's shooting one and one. Eight. Okay, it's the eighth team foul there. Two more, and they'll be shooting two each time. And Brandy, Brandy's a good free throw shooter. I shouldn't have said that. Free throw no good, and uh, Miranda Wallace tries to rebound and, and got it on the baseline. Well, she came back door again on the opposite side of the floor. He got there and just, just couldn't hold it and hit, hit the baseline on it. Good hustle. 244. The Lady Cats are going to win game number 18 today over Brentwood Academy. Here's Brentwood working for a shot, and Lawrence County's playing good defense. Be sure to join us between games for the Mid-State Basketball Report with Marion Wilhoyt. He'll be talking about some of the top teams in our district. Here's a shot by Brentwood, no good. Miranda Wallace got the rebound in heavy traffic. She's in trouble, and she's fouled. Well, they kept, they kept, kept reaching, kept reaching, kept reaching. They finally had to, had to call something, but they're up at 20 points here. This is a big win. When you play in a, a tough district as we've got, you sure don't want to leave, lose your non-conference games because you know, those are confidence builders going back into your next game. So, yeah, you know, this is an important win. And there'll be another one, uh, a tough one Tuesday night as Giles County will be here. They've got a great three-point shooter in Brooklyn Bass. Right, right. We throw by Wallace, no good, but uh, somebody from Ringwood may have stepped in the lane. They're going to let her shoot again, aren't they? Yeah, right, right. And win, win the day and win the Giles County game helps put some distance between the Coffee County game last night. And then you got the shovel game next Friday, another big one. Okay, the free throw no good, but uh, Trish Rowling got the rebound and fed Hartsfield, and somebody's over the back on Hartsfield. Who goes 24, Kim Martin? Uh huh. Probably her second. Her second team, Kim. A lot of, you know, right, in, the, in the games, a lot of times, you know, they still want to compete. Of course, they're in the Academy, so they're, they're still fighting for everything. She might get more fouls at this time of the game than anytime else. Free throw good by Hartsfield. When we played up there, uh, I asked Jack Chewub at Brimwood Academy, I said, you think there's some rich people in this gym? <laughs> he said, oh, yeah, yeah. I said, you and Eddard Saxon and... <laughs> uh, uh, I imagine there are. Uh, Grace Husband who plays for them. Uh, you know, her husband played for the NBA back in the 60s. I can't imagine even him letting his daughter go to, to the NBA. It may not be the same. That's not a, that's not a normal last name. Three seconds on number 40. She camped out and they kept swinging the ball. But like I said, when they post up, they don't get the ball. So they're open. And those husband boys go to uh, Alabama. They played Alabama. Yeah, I think that's right. I, it's, it's been so long. They're a little ahead of me, so that's, it's been a long time ago. But yeah. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, they were NBA players. Yeah, they were. I knew their father on Nashville Cannon Awning Company. Yeah, and I'm cool. sure this is an offspring. It, it could, could well be. That's the only time I've ever seen that last name of husband. Yeah. Here's uh, Mel Saxon going to drive down. Her shot, no good. Rebound Dana Simpson. Look here. Simpson's on a break all by herself. But here comes Saxon, and the ball rides <laughs> on the backboard. I've seen that happen twice in this gym in the last two weeks. Ball stuck between the rim and the backboard. I think they go with the possession error on that. I never ever know what that rule is. So uh, they're going to give it to Brentwood Academy right here with a 146 left in the game. It's 59-37, Lawrence County running out by 22 points. That's something you don't see happen to them. These breakaway rims are bigger rims. That may be why. Maybe more room in there for a ball to wedge. 
Yeah, I saw that up at Columbia State the other night, and I think any one of the 10 boy uh, men players could have reached up there and got it loose. I don't doubt that. Here's a shot by, uh, by Millwood Academy, no good. Yeah, Alicia Miller and I think Brandi Bean reached up and just tried to slap it and got, just got it on the wrist. A little touch foul, but she got her. Katie Schultz is coming into the game. Katie Schultz is coming in for Mel Saxon. Boy, Saxon, didn't she play a great game today? Yeah, she does. Well, she, her effort there and, and attitude, she just goes into every game with just, you know, 100% effort. I really enjoy watching Mel play. I know I, I know we're better now than I maybe did a year ago. So, you know, when you know a little better, you tend to pull for them a little harder. Big goal to Brandy Bean, a thousand and something points now. Sarah Long comes in also, and uh, Jill Adams is in there. Free throw was good. Here comes uh, Katie Shields. She threw it away. Intercepted by Brentwood Academy. As uh, Brentwood's going to come down with a minute 20, the shot's good and a foul. Yeah, I believe Jill Adams may put her hand in her back right when she went in. The 45, Jill Adams got it. Here comes Jennifer Powell. Powell comes in now. She'll replace Trish Rowling. Good job by Trish today. You know. Yeah. A lot of people start to contribute. We get toward tournament time, and, you know, that's got to happen. Free throw is in and out. No good. Katie Shields with the rebound. Katie works it across the timeline. Katie, one of those gals out in New Prospect that is a good player out there. She works into Jill Adams. Adams, turnaround shot, no good. Sarah Long put it up, no good. And it's knocked out by Brentwood Academy, but the Lady Cats keep it. Schultz gunning, good, a two-pointer. Oh, she's barely on the line. That's, that's a good shot, good job. Katie Schultz uh, got the basket. A whistle and a foul as Brentwood Academy tried to shoot. Well, Simpson took off for the basket. Katie, Katie Schultz again after and bumped her on the shot, so she'll be shooting to 61 to 40 is the score. This boys' game should be a dilly. Brentwood Academy barely beat our Wildcats up there. Yeah, and you never talk about revenge with coach. The kids always know. Well, you know, there's I guess retribution maybe is a better word or whatever, but. You know, they know it, and they, they don't like anybody to be in price this season, non-conference or not. Simpson, next free throw, no good, and Jill Adams gets the rebound. Boy, Jill went high for that one. Jill Adams gives off to Katie Shoes to Patty Marcus. Marcus tries to feed inside to Adams, but it's intercepted. 33 seconds to go in the game. Orange County going to win. Sampson for three. Simpson's good. Good shot. Good shot. For Will Scram, our girls, you know, they want to make a, a, a good minute, minute and a half here. A lot, of, a lot of activity right now. Here's Simpson for another, and as she got the steal, and uh, Simpson nails another three with 13 seconds. Here's Patty Marcus with the basketball. Marcus gives to Jennifer Powell to Sarah Long. Good feed, the basket good. Found a, found a wide open. Found the old man going inside to her. 16 point victory up to, up, to, up to an excellent victory after last night. That, that, that gets them going down the road in the right direction. Again. You bet. The Lady Cats win their 18th game of the year.